you timers. You're in the kitchen with Kai today. I don't know what I'm doing in the kitchen. I just got out of the bed. And I think I want to prepare for a nice dinner. That's what I think I want to do. So that's why I called it Sunday prep. I have my, I, I need to prep for the day. I need to get ready. Like I need to, I get my day started and I wake up in the morning. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And then I sit down on the couch and I don't do that, 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 or that, right? So I think today, before I get up and sit down, I'm going to try to get my day started with some meal prep. But how will I prepare? What will I prepare? I don't know what's for dinner. I want some cookies. Oh, I made these really delicious um, cookies. Hold on. I made these really delicious cookies. But, but, okay, so I made these. Good morning, Alicia. Yeah, right, right. You get up and you're like, oh, I got all this stuff. I'm going to be so productive today. And then today happens. And I get up and I'm like, oh, let me knit this scarf. Let me knit this hat. Let me be creative, not productive, creative. I want there to be some, I want some cookies. I want some cookies today. That's what I want. We made these chocolate chips. They were cho white chocolate, dark chocolate, coconut, pecan cookies. And they were so delicious and they're all gone. Um, but now I need them. I need these cookies back in my life. And so, but I don't have chocolate chips. Oh, I have white chocolate chips. So I use these. Uh, they're vegan chocolate chips. Good morning, sis. Bernadette, good morning. They're uh, white, white cocoa chips. They are, oh, white cocoa chip cookies. Let's see. Brown sugar, vanilla flour, baking soda. All right, let's follow the recipe on the back of the other things. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to make some cookies. Hold on. But I don't have any chocolate chips. I have the white chocolate chips, and honestly, I don't really like white chocolate chip cookies. This bag is, look, all that air in that bag, this bag has been in the freezer. So we're going to make some cookies. I have no... No brown chocolate chips. I know I'm gonna keep on going out in the camera because I'm looking in the cabinet for what I need to make these to make these cookies. And your your, your cousin nephew friend <laughs> doesn't necessarily wipe off the counters like he's supposed to, and so my butcher's block or my what is this? This island. No, I don't want to step away from the cookies. Rose, I'm getting cookies. We're having cookies today. We're about to bake some cookies with Kai. And I'm going to, I need to, you know, I got to retrain this boy on how to clean the dang kitchen. What's clean? Okay, go. Ale. Ale. Child doesn't know what clean is. So, uh, all right, guys. You know I'm not Martha Stewart, right? So it's not like I got my kitchen set up for baking. I mean, for going live. And this child doesn't know how to properly clean off a what well, anything really. So before I. Before I clean, I mean, before I, before I cook, I've got to make sure my counter is, my surface is clean. I'm using um, 
Myers clean day. So make sure where the boy didn't do what he was supposed to do. We're having cookies today, dang it. And I'm not gonna make, I'm, so what I do is I make the cookies and then I, I put them in balls. Yes, we're baking cookies with Kai. We'll forever be teaching your son to clean. Matter of fact, it gets worse. Oh, no, you know what, Rose? Um, I need I need a Christian to teach him how to clean the kitchen. I think every child needs to go study, um, needs to go study, study uh, culinary arts. Every child needs to study culinary arts because I tell you what, Christian Mack went to school to become a chef and he cleans the kitchen better than anybody I know at this point. All right, so let's see if I have all the ingredients that I need to make cookies. I'm not gonna make them the way I really want them, but because I don't like white chocolate chips, but I have white chocolate chips. I have uh, flour. I have white sugar. I have, oh, this is oh, um, coconut sugar. I have brown sugar. And, okay. I need some nuts. And I need some, so what do you, talk to me. What are you guys doing today? What are you guys getting into? Preparing for your holiday? Preparing for, um, am I live in the right group? I mean, I'm on the group page. Oh, guys, you guys, if you did not join, if you did not join, um, Um, Erica's uh, poetry reading. I said, good morning, Susanna. We are baking with Kai today. You guys know that I have my own baking business, right? This is not my recipe, so these cookies turn out great. I will be more than happy to share this recipe with you. So you guys put your oven on 380. I don't share... I don't share my business recipes. Like I will never share the recipe for my cupcakes because I have a cupcake business and I'm not giving you my cupcake recipes. I will never share the recipe for my really famous delicious cookies that I that I um, made the other day. But this recipe, you can have it, it's not mine. It is raining, but helping a friend clean out his, his place. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice of you. So we have our white chocolate chip cooked, our white chocolate chips. What else do we need? A cup of softened butter or margarine. Okay, so you all know that I'm trying not to do oils and fats, so I'm not gonna use softened butter or margarine. I'm gonna use coconut oil. Let's just see how that works. If it doesn't work, oh well. I'm not gonna use butter or margarine because that's not good for me. So I'm gonna use my Coconut oil. Now, I use refined coconut oil unless I want a coconut flavor. And then if I want a coconut flavor, I use unrefined. So I usually have both in my house, coconut, and, I mean refined and unrefined. Brown sugar. This one calls for eggs, but I'm not going to use eggs. <laughs> I'm putting up a Christmas tree and working on a stone foundation wall in the basement. Oh, nice. Nice. So this calls for eggs, but y'all know I try to make everything vegan, so I'm also not using eggs. I'm going to use my uh, flax meal, and the way that you get a flax egg is you add, I believe it's two tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of, of brown flax seed. Rose, can you confirm that for me? Is it one tablespoon or two of water? I think it's one to one to one, one tablespoon of water and one tablespoon of flax. Now, this is the thing. You know, you can, good morning, Tobiah, you can replace eggs in almost any recipe, right? But when you have a recipe that says like, oh, I need five eggs. Okay. Mm -mm. 
you can't replace five eggs. I mean, you could try, but it's not likely to turn out the, the same way. One or two, I've, I've done replace one egg and it's turned out perfectly beautiful. Uh, I haven't tried replacing two eggs, but we're gonna try it today. Um, but I wouldn't try to replace five eggs. You coming back in? So this morning we are, this is how I get ready to bake. Oh, that, you know, that brown sugar is hard. Let me get my other brown sugar. Hello, mother. We are baking with pie today. Baking, baking, baking. I do so much baking, you all. I have like 50,000 packages of brown sugar in this house. And it's all for baking. You think I'm playing when I say I have that much brown sugar? Look, you think I'm playing, but I'm not. This is brown sugar. This is brown sugar. This is brown sugar. Where's that other one? Oh, I think I, think I must have moved it somewhere. I don't know. Oh, it's over there. And another one, brown sugar. You attended Erica's launch. It was great. It was. I was. I was out. Um, Rose, did you answer my question? Rose, you didn't answer my question. I was out. Oh, I was out getting yarn and watching and listening to it as I was driving home. It was really nice. I was concerned. Honestly, I was concerned at first because I was seeing people gathered in a place and I was like, where are their masks? Why are they gathering? Why is everybody coming together? No, no, no. And then, you know, when you pan out and you see everybody, I want to say almost everybody had a mask on except for small times when they were talking or something. So, okay, fine. I guess I'm not going to be upset. Like if I was, who cares, right? All right, so what else are we gonna put in our what else are we gonna put in our coke in our chocolate chip cookies? Are we gonna do coconut in our cookies? We can do some coconut. We can do that again. Y'all tell me what you want in these cookies. We need nuts in these cookies. Uh, we need nuts. Our pecans to go in the cookies. Pecans, what else? Granny oh okay. Rose, how many, how much the measurement, the measurement from, see, we need to be on here while you cooking shrimp Creole and I'm making cookies. See, Tobiah, we could be side by side, you doing the Creole and me doing the cookies, and then we have dinner and dessert, right? Rose, the egg substitute with flax, is it one, tea, one tablespoon of flax to one tablespoon of water or one tablespoon of flax? to two tablespoons of water. Can you can you check that for me, please? Look, dog, you're gonna have to quit, quit going in and out. Okay, I got white chocolate chips. What else? White, I got white chocolate, mom. Had to make sure she was okay. We took her to the, oh, okay, is she doing all right? Is she doing all right, Rose? Let me do, I really wish I had some regular chocolate chips. I don't have any. Uh oh, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, I have more pecans. What about raisins? Oh, we could put some oatmeal in it too. What about oatmeal? We could put some oatmeal. We're gonna have some oatmeal, white chocolate. What else we put in these cookies? Oh, uh, I don't have any any brown chocolate. Do I have raisins? I don't have any raisins. All right, so no raisins. So it's gonna be oatmeal, white chocolate, coconut. What's this? Powdered sugar. And, oh, you know what? Ha ha, I have chocolate. Ha 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 ha. Oatmeal's good with good raisins. I don't have raisins, so. This is just a uh, chocolate bar from France, actually. So I'm gonna chop up that chocolate bar 
and I'm going to put that chocolate. So we're going to have the white chocolate and dark chocolate. But this dark chocolate, does it have any milk in it? I think it's pure cacao. It's not um, cocoa butter. Oh, it does contain milk. Okay, never mind. I'm not putting milk in that. Never mind. No milk. One tablespoon of flax, three tablespoons of water. Okay, thank you. What about this baking chocolate? Oh, I can use some unsweetened baking chocolate. That's what we're going to put in our cookie. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. We're cooking together at the table today. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. All right, so let's get some measurements going. It's a mess. So oh, let me get the table. Let me get my... Again, I'm not Martha Stewart, and I'm not Rachel Ray, so I'm not set up for a cooking show. And all of my baking stuff is in my baking space. So now I got to go grab it because I just thought about this right now. Like, oh, let's just bake today. So I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. All right. Okay, I'm back. She was dizzy and the doctor wanted us to take her to urgent care. She got sick and she has a fever and her oxygen saturation was 90. So we had to take her to the emergency room. They watched her for a few hours and they let Granny go home. Okay, well that's good. 90 oxygen saturation is actually not that bad. Um, I mean, it's not dangerously low, so that's good. But I'm glad that they had to take her and get her all checked out. 90, uh, you know, because I've been doing this whole oxygen saturation thing. When it's below 75 or 85 or something like that, then it's considered to be bad. So 90, although concerning, is still okay, it's still safe. So we are putting it together. I have to do two eggs. What is so we were, we were putting together our our rest our um, plans for the holiday meal, and you know this my boy comes out and he's like, "Mom, are we having fried chicken and uh, what's that stuff called? Fried chicken and um, um, French toast and." potatoes and blah blah he starts naming all this stuff we um usually do brunch for christmas i started doing brunch for christmas because chelsea mack had a boyfriend who you know she wanted to be able to spend her christmas with her mom and her family and with the boyfriend's family so we we're like okay well how about we'll do christmas brunch and then you can go over there for Christmas dinner. So we've been doing that. Now, even though she and that boyfriend broke up years ago. So this is my flax and um, water. So I'm gonna let that sit so that I can use that as my egg replacer. And I can't show it to you because if I lean it, you know, it will spill. So I can't show it to you. But anyway, it's just the flax meal, a tablespoon of flax meal to three tablespoons of water for each egg. And so you let that sit and until it congeals and oh, well, stir it a little bit. And then once it congeals, it's ready to be used as your egg replacer. So we are making vegan cookies. Now you don't have to, I'll post this recipe if it turns out really well. If it doesn't turn out well, I'm not posting. But if it turns out good, I'll post this recipe. And you don't have to replace your eggs. If you eat eggs, you can do eggs. If you don't eat eggs, you can replace yours like I do. Good morning, Steve. We're baking today. We have a baking with Ty day. We're in the kitchen with Ty, preparing for our week. 
Remember the oven is set at 350. And I need a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a cup of softened butter or margarine. All right. So a cup of softened butter or margarine. So since I'm not using um, actual butter or margarine and I'm using coconut oil, and my coconut oil is mostly uh, softened because, you know, no, oh, actually, it's not that soft. It's soft enough for me to scoop. So what I usually do is I use my scale and I weigh it out. I mean, if you were using butter, then, you know, you can read the little markings on the butter, but I'm not using the butter. Hey, come in stop. Stop making all that noise. You're making noise. You're bothering the neighbors. Cut it out. Cut it out. So today is a really beautiful, sunshiny day. I'm feeling really good, but I, I'm not. No, no, sir. No, you're not going back outside. I didn't realize how close Christmas was. So we're going to do our Christmas exchange. I'm going to send you guys a note today about who you are partnered with for your Christmas exchange. I'm trying to see if I can find a tool online that... Um, Okay, a cup is eight ounces. Okay, never sorry. Anyway, I'm trying to find a tool online that um that would uh match. So I know I have there's a randomizer tool that can put people's names in a list, and I want to see if I can find a tool that will randomly match people so that I'm not picking who's matched up with whom. So so that I'm gonna do that today, and then when I post it, I mean I'm not gonna post it. I'm going to send everybody a message, everybody who's involved then I will tell you who you're getting because we could do it kind of like a secret Santa, I guess, right? So I'll tell you who you have. And then once you know who you have, oh, I need everybody's address. I need everybody's address. Ah, so if you said that you were gonna participate in the gift exchange, please give me your address because those people who are participating as well need to know where to send your gift. So, and I'm, I'm wanting you guys not to do gift certificates, actually buy a gift and have the gift sent to, uh, you know, the person, right? So make sure you give me your address so that I can then share. I'm not going to be posting everybody's address, but I am going to, I am going to send each match who their, who their address, I mean, you know, the address for whoever they are. Uh, they're matched with. So the first thing you do that the boy has taught me is that you um you um get all your ingredients lined up. It's called mise en place. You put all of your ingredients, everything that you're going to use, you line them up and you measure them out. So I have my cup of oil. I, I know you can't see it. I have my uh, black seed and water. I'll pick the camera up in a minute. And then you measure everything out. I have it all measured and set to the side. So I need a cup of sugar and a cup of, a half cup of brown sugar. So again, I do all my measuring on the scale. A cup of sugar. I measure everything on the scale. I don't use, I, I use the, the scoop, the measuring cups to, to take everything out, like to scoop out my, flour. And if I'm trying to go real fast, I don't measure it on a scale, but I definitely measure my my um, sugar on a scale because I know how much sugar I want in there. And sometimes I don't do a full cup. Even though it says to do a cup, sometimes I don't because I don't want all that sugar. I want to reduce the amount of sugar. So, but this time I'm going to follow the instructions because, um, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. You put your cookie tray in the fridge. No, I don't have my cookie tray in the So I'm setting up all my ingredients. I need my half a cup of brown sugar. And then my dog is, I dropped a little bit of coconut oil on the floor. My dog is licking up the coconut oil. Even though I wiped it, he's still over there. I guess he smells it. So I'm doing a half a cup of brown sugar. And if you know, you guys follow the follow the follow the 
uh, recipe. Don't follow what I mean. I'm, you know, I have a rough idea of what a half a cup of brown sugar should weigh, and so I just do that. But you guys follow the recipe, because let's see. I'm gonna get a half cup measurement. And see, is it the right amount? Let's see. All right. So this is what I consider my half cup. And let's see if it's actually a half cup. Maybe it's a little bit more, maybe it's a little bit less. Or maybe it's right on the money. Let's check. I'm thinking it's getting ready to come out right on the money. Oh, that girl got skills. That girl got skills. Okay, I, it's right on the money. So voila, that girl got skills, okay. So I have my white sugar, my brown sugar. So I have a cousin that's a chef and he said that helps them to cook better. Well, you know what? If that helps his cookies cook better, I'm okay with that. But my cookies, I like the way they cook, the way that I do them and I haven't put them in, I haven't put my cookie uh, sheet in the refrigerator so I'm not gonna start because um, I like how they turn out already. I mean, everybody has their Everybody has their ideas of what works for them and maybe for his recipe that might work really well But it's not necessary for my recipe. Some recipes will say to put your cookies to uh, Cool your cookie dough, you know to put your cookie dough in the refrigerator for 30 minutes refrigerated for an hour Refrigerated for whatever amount of time and then other recipes don't say you do that So I would say your cousin can keep doing that. I don't have room to be sticking a cookie sheet in my freeze in my refrigerator So that's not gonna about that's not about to start I'm not gonna start trying to make room. All right, what else am I down? So I have my brown sugar, my white sugar, I have my oil. Now I need, now this will just fall on the recipe on the container, on the thing. Two teaspoons of vanilla, two and one fourth cups of flour, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and baking soda. And then let's see, we're going to combine the butter, sugar, eggs, Yep, add flour. All right, so now we need to do our baking soda. I mean, our flour. Now, I am going to scoop the flour because I don't feel like doing anything other than that. So I'm going to scoop my flour. <laughs> my neighbor, my neighbor, guys, hold on one second. <laughs> good, good morning. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So you you need to use my phone. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm using it right now because I'm doing a video. Are you getting ready to go somewhere? Or are you gonna be downstairs? Okay, I'll bring you as soon as I'm done. Okay, that's fine. I'll bring it as soon as I'm done. All right. All right. Oh, folks, y'all, they got to go on with. See what happened was I did, 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 did. What do you need? You need to use the phone? Okay, you can use the phone, but right now I'm using the phone, so I'll bring you the phone when I'm done. Okay, how about that? Don't come with the, you know, see what happened was my phone was stolen, and I got to set up my phone. And since I got to set up my phone, did it? What do you need, lady? What do you need? <laughs> See, my mom just do it with you. Everybody, what do you need? <laughs> oh, what do you need? <laughs> All right, so it has something to do with the way they will cook. Hey, Rose, I ain't mad at him. He can cook his cookies however you want to. I'm going to keep on cooking mine. I ain't putting it in the refrigerator this time. I'm not mad at that. All right, so I need two and a fourth cup of baking powder. Look, I'm not set up in the right. Look, I don't have Martha Stewart behind me, everybody cleaning. No, patience is not the virtue I have. You know? Just get to the point. What you need? I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. You need to use the phone. No problem. You need to use the phone. Dang, that's it. Get to the point. <sighs> All right, so one recommendation. When you scoop your flour, 
the flour gets packed in. So the recommendation is that instead of using your scooper to scoop your flour out, that you take something, a spoon, a, a different scooper, and you scoop your flour out and, and pour it into the measuring device that you're using. So for example, I hate the way they do this flour because now my bag is torn. I'm gonna have to put it in something else to keep it sealed anyway. Can you guys, maybe you can see a little better. Anyway, okay, now you can't see me, but oh well. So you should take something like this, scoop out your flour, and then pour it into whatever device you're using to measure. So you shouldn't use the, the cup scoop to scoop the flour out of the bag. So I'm supposed to have two and one fourth cups of flour. My chi is off, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Patience is a virtue and always remember one day you will be where she is. That's fine, somebody else, I'm, that's why I'm teaching my children patience. Well, mama, I guess you didn't do a good job teaching me patience, it's all your fault. It's all your fault, Elaine. Had you taught me patience, I would be a more patient person. Again, guys, you can, you can, do a better job of measuring, but I'm a baker. I, I don't, I mean, baking is a precise, precise science and I do I measure everything. But when I'm playing with new recipes, I just do my thing, okay? I just do my thing, whatever that is. All right, so we got our flour and we need uh, a fourth teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Where's my measure? My, my, Okay, a fourth teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Where's my fourth? Oh, so, a fourth teaspoon of salt. Where's my salt? I'm using sea salt. You don't have to. You don't have to, um, what girls are patient? <laughs> you... <laughs> I don't know what girls you talking about, Elaine, but Charmin, Charmin Turner's ain't patient. And Shonda, Shonda, Chonda Champagne, she ain't patient. She just, she just Shonda, okay? <laughs> that ain't patience. That's just Chonda. <laughs> I love my sisters, but you lying. Ain't nobody in this family patient. I like that. And you know, if you're measuring them against me, yeah, they're patient. But that doesn't mean measuring them against the world, they're patient. Oh, no, they're not patient either. All right. So I have my flour, my salt, my baking soda. Right? And that's it. So we're going to combine all these ingredients. And we're going to throw them in the oven. And we're going to see how, that's right, that's all everything. How much chocolate chips? A package of chocolate chips. Oh, and I have my vanilla. I usually put my vanilla in last. All right, so we got everything ready. I'm going to show you my count, my table so you can see I have everything ready. So I put this stuff out of the way. But I am going to add some coconut and I am going to add some oatmeal. Wait, do I want to add coconut? I mean, do I want to add oatmeal? Do I want to add oatmeal? And I'm gonna chop up my um I need a bigger stove, girl. I'm gonna chop up my uh chocolate. Do I wanna add oatmeal? Tell me, do I? And I'm gonna put this blend this chocolate in the blender so it can crunch it up for me. Okay, hold on guys. Yay! So y'all know, y'all know this how your old grandmama cook, right? She didn't say what? My other girls, she didn't say what? Rose, she didn't say what? Um, y'all know this how your grandparents cook. They just throw a whole bunch of stuff in the in the pot and like, yeah, a pinch of this, a pinch of that, a pinch of this, right? Patience. 
Okay, hold on. It's going to be loud for a second. Give me a second. I got to put the blender on. All right, that's the best we're going to do. That bacon chocolate is just going to be chunky. All right, let's get my bowl. Let's get my mixing bowl. And we're going to mix it all up. Yay. So we're going to put, we're going to mix together our coconut. Right? Now, I'm not saying that this is going to turn out exactly how it's supposed to because instead of using butter, I'm using coconut oil. So I don't know how it's going to actually turn out, guys. We're going to see. If these cookies are the business. Either way, I'll give you the real recipe. And you can decide. We're going to take our eggs. Gonna put our eggs in there, our flax meal eggs. You see, her other daughters don't have patience for the world. Your mother just said that they have patience. No, they don't have patience, right? You said she didn't say that, but they don't have patience. My mama don't know what she's talking about. Those girls ain't patient. They're just more patient than me. So we're mixing up our sugar. Oh, I wish I could show you guys this. We're mixing up. There we go. We're mixing up our sugar, our oil, which if you use butter or margarine, then you would be mixing up your butters and your sugars. But coconut is better for me to digest, so that's what I'm using. So we have our white sugar, our brown sugar, and our eggs. Now I'm going to put my I use, you can use regular vanilla, but I use something called cookie vanilla. Oops, cookie vanilla. It's two teaspoons of cookie vanilla. So we use that. Mm, mm, mm. And stir that in. Does this tell me to cool them? Uh, oh, this says, well, oh, this does say as coconuts. Okay. So we're going to add our flour. Mm -mm -mm, guys, this is going to be delicious. I'm just going to mix this salt flour mixture up just a little bit. going to add that. We're making a mess. I'm making a mess. Now, if I were really making these cookies on a regular basis, I'd actually have this mixing bowl on top of, on, on the mixer, and I would allow the mixer to mix all this, but, you know, I just don't have room to do all that and be on camera and talk to you, so that's why we're doing it this way. So we mix it all up. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this may not be wet enough for me, so I think I'm going to add, I will, now again, you guys follow the instructions, the directions. That's what you you need to do. Follow the directions on the packet. But I want it to be a little bit wetter. So I'm going to add a little bit of, of, um, of uh, coconut milk. Not coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Look at that. Got a chunk of brown sugar right there. Let's squash that. My hands are clean. I washed them before we started doing this, so don't worry. Some chunks of, of brown sugar. So this is really nice. Now I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk to mine. Just a little. This is unsweetened coconut milk. I'm just going to add a little bit because I want the cookies to be a little bit wetter consistency, about a tablespoon. And I probably need to start with something other than this flimsy spatula. All right. I need to get that in there. 
it is stranger it's stronger the cookie vanilla it's not cooking vanilla it's cookie it's cookie vanilla and it's it's a, a mixture of a couple of different vanillas it is um it's a mixture of bourbon and tahitian vanilla so normally when you buy your vanilla in the store it's just one vanilla flavor like it may be tahitian vanilla or maybe um madagascar bourbon vanilla but this cookie vanilla is a mixture of two so it's going to be a different flavor um okay now we need to add in all of our coconuts we're supposed to chop the chop the um chop the chop the pecans Get a towel. We're supposed to chop the pecans, so I'm gonna do that in the blender as soon as I dump this other chocolate in here. So this is a chocolate powder, so it's not gonna be chocolate chippy, but it'll still have that chocolate flavor in it. Whatever you're making, can I have some? I'm making cookies, babe, and I'm on tea time making cookies. I'm baking with pie and tea time, so don't come out here without the chocolate. Okay. And I'm gonna put some pecans. The, the, the recipe says walnuts, but I like pecans in my cookies. Can you put some? Uh, can you put some hazelnut? Hazelnut. All right. Okay, so we're gonna have pecans and hazelnut. Blend them up a bit. I am. So we're gonna have pecans and hazelnuts in our cookies. And as you can tell, I like a lot of nuts in the cookies. So hold on one second. Mmm, guys, it's gonna be so good. All right. And we have our nuts. Now, I don't do anything perfectly, but I do everything perfectly. Let me say it that way. I do not make sure that the nuts are all perfectly, finely chopped or all precise measurements i don't do that now if that's the type of baker or cooker chef that you are then do that you do you and i'm gonna do me and you can do it that way you can make sure that everything is finely chopped and uniformly chopped if you want to trade you're a bad influence now i want to bake cookies <laughs> you know what I started ordering some uh, vanilla beans. I'm going to be making my own vanilla shortly, guys. Um, I need a stronger spoon. Look, I, look, we're on here on tea time today. We're having a good time. What's this? I need something stronger that's going to actually mix this better. I should have put it on my blender because then it would have mixed up better. Look at this, guys. This is going to be so good. Mm, 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 mm. I know you want some of these cookies, Mama. I'll bring you some. Don't worry. <gasps> I cut myself. <gasps> okay, I'm not bringing you any of these cookies. This is cut. <gasps> My bowl is cut. I need a, a Band-Aid. Hold on. I need a Band-Aid now, honey. Mom, I won't be sharing these cookies with you because I just cut myself on this bowl. But I am still going to make these cookies. Oh. And I will be throwing this bowl away. I didn't realize it was cut. It was chipped. Ah, dang, black is that cut. All right, well, there goes my cookies. There goes the cookies, y'all, because this is hurting. I would just like to point okay, out. I don't need you to point out anything. I need to, I need, can you open this band-aid for me? I caught it just in time. So I didn't, I didn't get it into the cookie mix, so that's good. So anyway, we're going to stop with the cookie demonstration because I didn't realize when I pulled this bowl out that it was chipped like that. No, it's so, not. Uh -huh. So it's got to, um, I got to figure my finger out right now. Nice. My finger is cut. I can, I can finish it. I can finish it, Mom. 
Okay. Um, don't mess with this bowl, Agent. I don't want you finishing it. The bowl needs to, I need to take this out of here. I don't want you to cut yourself. Stop. What you doing? I, I figured you were going to. I need to put that back down. Oh, okay. You need to take this out of here. I don't want you to get cut. I'm not going to get cut because I'm not I'm blaming going... you for my cut, Mom. I don't want to give you blood cookies. Mom, I'm the one who told you that that was cut. I didn't realize it was chipped like that. I showed you. Okay, son, you showing me and me realizing are two totally different things. I'm not blaming anybody for my cut. Goodness gracious. Don't start bothering me when I'm in pain, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to start going off on folks. Okay, let me get this out of this bowl. Give me um, give me a... Maybe I should do it. No, give me another bowl. I just want to make sure that mom, I can. I guess I can share with you. You, my mama. <laughs> um, yeah, if it's good enough to share with your son, man. Yeah, I'm eating these cookies, but I won't be sharing it with anybody else. I want to make sure that y'all not eating, getting my blood on your cookies. That's the issue. Oh, you wash real quick. No, I don't need that bowl. I just need a regular bowl. You're not uh, mixing it. Mm -mm. Okay, that's good. I didn't drip blood in there. Well, I'm gonna have my gloves. Give me that. Uh, I just need a, a, a bowl. All right. All right. So we will cover up the cut hand. All right. So we're good. And I asked my five, I will cover up the other hand too, just because I'm dealing with the cut hand. I need a bowl to get these cookies out. But we're done mixing. So mix it up. It needs to be bigger. It threw a it threw a wrench in my game. Threw a Mom? Hey, oh yeah. It threw a but I'm so frustrated because you know what? That means that means that I have to get rid of this bowl. Do you know how expensive this bowl is? Well you got another one. I know, but I have two for a reason, so I have to order another one. Put this, go outside right now. Put your shoes on. Take this outside and put it in the recycle. Or your flip flops. I don't know, but put it in the recycle. All right. You want me to smash it? No, don't smash it. Just put it in the recycle. All right. So I'm gloved up now. And I'm not sharing these cookies with anybody but my mama and my son. So don't worry. I would not, if you were coming to my house, you would not get these cookies. Yeah, it sucks for you. Yeah. I mean, I really didn't get any blood in there, but if I'm serving people, if I'm serving, look, like my mama ain't a person. <laughs> like my son ain't a person. Yeah. Thank if I'm you, serving thank you. other people, I'm very careful about um, that stuff and I would throw it all away. The dog. What about the dog? Oh, that's coconut oil, son. And what's that dark stuff? Throw, throw it away. Put that in recycle as well. Anyway, so I'm putting moisture in here. I mean, I'm mixing this all up because the nuts need to be mixed in. You blended the nuts, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the hot nuts, right? Yeah. And then these are the cookies. Now you see, and I was saying, I don't, I don't necessarily have make everything uniform, so somebody's don't get a big old chunk of chocolate in their cookie, and that's okay. I want that cookie. I'm sure you do. That is quite all right. And I didn't put coconut in this one. Because you should, have saved, you should have saved the um the chunk and then put it in a cookie so that I, that you were gonna bake today. So that can I'm you get something. the silicone mat? <sighs> Fine. All right, so here's the cookie dough, right. and what I'm gonna do is take a chunk, and I'm gonna make balls of cookies, the balls for the cookies. And then I'm just going to bake a few cookies today. And then what I do is I, I create these balls. I cre no, put it on this cookie, on that. No, 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 no. Put it on this one. That one's fine. But I need to make more cookies than just that, H. I mean, that one's on there. It's fine. Put the, put the mat on there. I hate when you use that big pan. I know, but we're going to put our cookies on there. We're gonna put our cookies on our mat. And that silicone mat. And if you want to make sure that your cookies are a uniform size, cookie, uh, 
And you can use a cookie scoop. I'm not using a cookie scoop. I'm just going to grab some, put it in a roll. I don't care if it's the uniform size or not. It could be an ice cream scoop. An ice cream scoop is too big. Any type of scoop. Yeah. You can use a melon baller, but that might be too small. You might want to put two, two of those together. And we are... What is a melon baller? It's a, a thing that looks like this cookie scoop, but it scoops uh, melons and it makes the melons come out in a ball. So it's called a melon baller. That's and nice. I use a silicone cooking mat for my cookies now. Because it's reusable and apparently sometimes, it's too sometimes you can. Um, some recipes will call for your cookies to be cool uh, to cool your dough. This one doesn't call call for the dough to be cool. So I'm gonna wash the cookies to make sure that they're not overcooking because sometimes they need to be cool to start. Um, Oh, Can you let the dog out? Please stop with that mess. What are you clearly do? You keep using that silicone mat thingy. Hey, Chen, stop. I'm, I'm just really, I'm not in the mood for that right now. Why? Because you cut your Hey, hand. I'm not in the mood for it. So, I'm just making extra cookies for me to make sure that I can take some to my mother. But normally, I will bake these up. I will make these balls. I will stick them in the freezer. Let on a cookie sheet, let them freeze, and then once they're frozen, take them off of that cookie sheet and put them in a bag or a container so that they can, um, so that then they can, uh, be pulled out one or two at a time, and you can bake yourself one or two cookies at a time. That way, you don't have a whole bunch of cookies sitting on your counter. So, mom, I will bring you a couple of cookies when I come pick up the lamp, but what I'll do is bring you a couple of the frozen ones so you can. Um, You're picking up another lamp. So you can do what I'm saying you do. Well, all right, there we go. So here's the cookies on the cookie sheet. There's the cookies on the cookie sheet. I'm not putting them, I'm not filling up the whole cookie sheet because then we will eat all of those cookies. So we are not doing that. We are baking some cookies. We're gonna give some away, and then we're gonna make cookie balls, freeze them, and then we have cookies for the week. And whenever we want a cookie, we can throw a couple in the oven, 10, 15 minutes, and that's it. Excuse me. Do you want me to not now what I do, what I do is finally. Where's the? Can something. you stop? With all of the extra, I'm on tea time. Tea time doesn't even know all of our damn business all day, every day. So they don't need to hear you opening the dishwasher. Okay, stop. Go in the other room and get the other, or wherever you just put the cookie sheet, hand it to me, please. Mm -hmm. And all the extra commentary that you're giving, stop. Because yes, tea time just heard me fuss at you, but I told you I'm not in the mood. What cookie sheet? The other cookie sheet that you were giving me at first that I said I didn't want. Go ahead and bring it to me. All right, so what I do is, yeah, I'm a mama first. So what I do is, he doesn't like coconut in his cookies, so I'm not putting coconut in the cookies. But what I do is when it's baking, I will, when it's just about finished baking, after the cookies flatten a little bit, and I'll add a little bit of, uh, I'll add a little bit of coconut to the top of the coconut toast over the top of the cookie. So right now, I'm just going to ball up some cookies. Oh, let me put them on a wax paper. Right now, I'm just going to ball some cookies. They really smell good even before you bake them. <laughs> you can smell these cookies, Mama. All right. So, I'm just going to make some cookie balls. Yeah, he doesn't know banter. Like, he, he he's trying hard. I get it. But, you know, sometimes I don't have the patience for it. So he's, he has to learn the banter, and I'm okay with that. But, but all this extra, finally, he did it. No, I'm not that. So I'm just making cookie balls. And the other thing you can do if you want to add a little bit of cook, cook, kick to your chocolate chip cookies is that when they're done, right before they're finished cooling, you can put you can add a little bit of sea salt. Just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt over the top of them right as they're cooling. Wait, why not normal salt? Um, sea salt is healthier for you. I don't know. Look it up, babe. It's healthier for you. 
That's what I'm going to tell you. You want any more detail, look it up. Rose, why is sea salt healthier for you? Rose will know off the top of her head. I don't know those things. How do you know she'll know? Because Rose knows all that stuff. Rose is the nutrition guru. Is that part of this time? That's what I'm saying. All that extra that you're doing. Not necessary. So we're just going to make a bunch of balls for cookies. That's it. And then after I do this, we're gonna, I'm going to get the, my chicken out. I'm going to prepare my chicken for today. I'm doing a lot of prep, guys. But first, I'm going to let my landlord use the phone. First, I'm going to do that. Use the phone. She needs to use the phone. One more time. She needs to use the phone. Actually, you can take the phone down to her and unlock it for her so she can use it. Your phone. Correct. Are you 100% sure you're HM, right? can you go do what I actually do. Actually, take her your phone. Unlock it for her. We'll, clean. we'll wipe it down after she finishes. Because her phone got stolen, so she's got to reset her phone. She's got to call the phone company. Yeah. All right. I forgot you still need to monitor the use. Oh, okay. You forgot. What so this is it. We're going to have, now I told you, I'm not a white chocolate chip person, but this is all vegan. Vegan chocolate, no eggs, no dairy. This is all vegan. I'm going to post the recipe. I can already sense that these, did I put my, co <gasps> I put the cookies in. I didn't put the timer on. Y'all about to have me burn up my cookies. Oh, did I throw away that packet? Don't throw, don't um take that packet because I threw it away. But but I need to post the recipe. Oh, uh, what? what the chocolate chip, the white chocolate chip packet. Okay. I called you. I just need to make sure that she gets the right phone call. Okay. Um, I prepped mushrooms and onions earlier to prepare spaghetti later. Oh, nice. Getting up now to go to the yeah. grocery store. Have a great day. Have a great day. You too. Uh, let's see. It says bake for. It says 10 minutes. Bake for 10 minutes. So if you take them out of the freezer to bake, you might add an extra minute, maybe. But the ones that I've had that I've prepped and put in the freezer, I actually I actually didn't need to add any extra time. It has I it, it has less iodine and prevent prevent what? Goiters. What's goiters? Is that a typo? I'm gonna make chicken later. So she says the um, but iodine is important. Maybe maybe regular salt has too much iodine because iodine is important for us. Our bodies need it, right? Hey hey off that song. You're gonna burn yourself on that on that stove, man. It for sure. All right, so our cookies will be done in just a few minutes. I'm going to pull them out of the oven. We're going to see how they do. And then we're going to be done with tea time. And I didn't even have my tea. I'm going to have my cookies and I'm going to have a little bit of coffee. Sea salt coffee? still has has the same amount of sodium. Oh, okay. But but wait a minute. Don't we need iodine? I can make you some more chocolate, bro. I want coffee. I bought that hot chocolate mostly for you because it has dairy in it. Oh. That thing on your neck from swelling. Oh, I don't know what that is. All right, we got cookies. Now these cookies are gonna be browner than what the dough would really be. And remember, it's because we blended up our chocolate and the chocolate became somewhat of a powder. So it mixed in with the, the coloring, it helped to that powder chocolate helped to color the um help to color uh the, the dough so 
Here we go. Our cookies are just we do, but if you eat fish, you get it from your fish and seaweed. Okay, I don't eat seaweed, but all right, I'll get it from my fish. I don't eat seaweed. That's Suli with the seaweed and ATM with the seaweed. Uh, and, and maybe YouTube, but I don't do the seaweed. Yes, but not in large amounts. Okay, I see. Now I understand why people have two phones. All right, there we go. So our cookie balls are ready to go into the freezer. And we're going to freeze them first so that then when we put them in a bag, they don't stick together like one big old clump of cookie. So, uh oh, I don't have room in my freezer, y'all. Let's see if this works. All right, there we go. I'm gonna freeze those. I can't believe I cut my dang hand. Goiter is in your neck, and when you get too much iodine, it. it it throws your th thyroid out of whack and you get that big lock on the front of your neck. Okay, I'm busy making earrings to fill orders while I watch you make. Oh, nice. I finished the scarf for um, oh, Bina. I finished the scarf for Bina. And the scarf for Susanna. I, so we did not do the oatmeal, guys. So one of the things is when you start adding... You know, I would encourage you, I would encourage you to play with your recipes, right? But when you start adding more stuff to your recipes, when you start adding more dry ingredients to your recipes, recognize that you need to offset the extra dry with a little bit extra wet. Sugar put, su sugar serves as a wet ingredient. So you can offset it by adding a little bit more sugar, but that's not, I don't like to do that. You can offset it by adding a little bit more oil, but I don't want to do that either. So I'm so that's why I offset mine by adding a little bit of coconut milk because I knew I was adding in extra nuts and extra things, right? So I wanted to make sure that I could offset the, that you have to keep your wet dry balance, right? So let's see. Someone new is oh, watching. Man. These cookies are looking good. So here is my phone. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit of coconut to my cookies because I like to have, and I can't show you guys what it looks like because, I, I, oh, mom, can you put some coconut off to the side because I do like the toasted coconut, just not on my cookies. Okay. Thank you. And my little All right. Ooh, this plastic glove is about to melt in that oven. All right. Good morning, Pam. We are cooking with Kai today. We are baking cookies. And these cookies are almost done. Almost done. Very excited. And then after this, I'm going to go out and take a walk. Now, Mom, you're going to have to just see what this thing on my phone. You say for what thing? The whole, the whole thing. I don't know. 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 I will. But do you guys want this recipe? Now, again, know that it's not the full or applesauce as it is a substitute for oil. Right. Okay, good. Thank you. Applesauce, too. So make sure you keep, a, keep track of that dry, wet balance. Or else you'll end up with the ingredient with a um, recipe with cookies that are too dry or cookies that are too wet. And these cookies look like they are done. Do you have any idea how long it's gonna be? Just a few minutes, they too. And these cookies are done. Yay! And remember that I said we sprinkle a little sea salt on it. All right. 
cookies are done. Sprinkle a little, little sea salt. Any chocolate chip cookie that you make, you can sprinkle a little, sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top of it as it's um. <gasps> Y'all, I'm making a big old mess. I just ran over the sink, not paying attention. Um, anyway, any cookies that you make, any chocolate chip cookies that you make, you can kick up the chocolate flavor by adding a little bit of salt on it when it's done. All right, guys. I'm about to sit down and enjoy my, sit down and enjoy these cookies as soon as they cool off a little bit. I thank you. I thank you for cooking with Kai today. I appreciate you. Or I just make a waffle. Okay. Oh, you're going to make a waffle instead of your cookies. No, girl, make some cookies. So, um, look, my finger is really cut. It's bleeding through the Band-Aid. It's really cut, y'all. Oh, wow. Anyway, I made a mess today, but we baked. How big is the cup? If I ever decide to cook with Kai again, maybe I will make that decision ahead of time. But you know that I don't make any decision ahead of time. Yes. We come to the table ready to talk about whatever, ready to do whatever. So today it was, let's Excuse make a mess me. in the kitchen. <laughs> let's cook. Let's make some cookies. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful, what day? Okay. You guys have a wonderful, glorious day. Have a wonderful day. I will take a picture of the cookies and I will post the picture. I will post the recipe. And remember that I added in extra nuts, different kinds of nuts. I didn't use eggs. Like I said, use eggs. But you can have whatever you want adjusted to whatever you need and still have it. You can't have sugar. You can add in some, some um, honey. You can use maple syrup. You can use honey. You could use sugar substitute. There's a... Uh, Is this real I did. There's a sugar substitute. What is it? Hold on. I might have some here. Uh, can, is this big enough to make some, um, you know? Okay, I don't have the sugar substitute here. No. But, is this big enough to make some? Yeah. I don't have the sugar substitute here, but anyway, there's all kinds of ways for you to adjust what adjust recipes. You do have for a you sugar to substitute. Have what, you you want. what sugar substitute? You just mentioned. Okay, too. I'm not talking about that one. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm gonna sit down with my cup of coffee and my cookies. Mind your COVID manners. Wait, oh, Wash my... your hands. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. Drink your water. And if it is a nice day where you are, for example, Elaine, it's nice outside. Get out and take a walk. Get out and get some outdoor energy. Yeah. Um, um, no, why, why are you gonna post it? No. Okay. no, why are you gonna post a picture if they're already done? Because I already showed them that I'm gonna put a picture next to the recipe. All um, right, mind your COVID manners. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Motivation Monday. <laughs>